Lunch is served. You are invited. So what's for lunch? Creamy salmon pasta. Wow. Mmm. This is so tasty. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Let's get to work. So first off, I am going to prep some aromatics. I'm going to chop some lemon thyme and that's going to be for the sauce. And by the way, the pasta sauce is not going to be based on heavy cream, but rather a luscious bechamel. And next, garlic. Meanwhile, I am going to prep the liquid in which pasta will be cooked. And as you would do to make excellent risotto, I'm going to make a nice and flavorful bouillon using chicken stock or flavoring. And the secret ingredient, it's going to be Parmigiano Reggiano scraps. Throw cheese scraps in hot water along with the salt. Cover and let it simmer for 10 minutes or so. This creamy salmon pasta recipe is perfect to put on your plat du jour restaurant or at home when you have fish scraps. You know what I like to do during the salmon season? I purchase a bunch of them. They are cheaper and wild caught fresh. All good. I prep them out, vacuum seal and freeze. And that's where the scraps come from. To follow, let's make the creamy sauce based on bechamel. So we're going to make the roux first. Melt the butter and throw in there the flour and cook for about two minutes. It's important to lightly toast the roux to get rid of the taste of the flour. Pour in the hot milk, bring to a boil and cook for two minutes, whisking swiftly. Then I'm going to grate over some Parmigiano Reggiano and season the bechamel with chopped thyme, salt, pepper and nutmeg. And then I'm going to add the heavy cream, just a little bit. So what is the difference between bechamel and mornay sauce? Well, a mornay sauce is a bechamel with the addition of grated cheese. Bechamel or white sauce belongs to the five mother sauces of classical cuisine, along with hollandaise, velouté, espagnol and tomato sauce. All right, so let's get our pasta cooked. Remove parmigiano scraps from the stock and cook pasta al dente. Here I'm using papadelli, but linguine works fine. Transfer cooked pasta to the sauce and save your pasta water, just in case you need to loosen up the sauce. Next, let's cook the salmon scraps. So, in a large skillet, I'm going to heat that up and I throw in there the butter. When melted, I'm going to add the fish scraps and season with salt and pepper. And then I'm going to throw in there the shallots and garlic. Then saute the whole thing on high heat. It won't take that long to cook, so keep an eye on it. Never overcook fish, especially Sakaya salmon. So in order to give a nice contrast, a more vibrant dish, I'm going to add some greens such as parboiled broccolite, rapini, broccoli, spinach, whatever you like. I'm going to add lemon zest and juice and give a good stir. Isn't it the perfect all year round entree that everyone loves? I hope you guys have enjoyed this creamy salmon pasta episode. Doable and yet delicious. To get the full recipe, go to my website brunoalbus.com. Don't forget to subscribe and sign up in order to get my free ebook. Try my recipes out, take a picture and tag me on Instagram. Bon appétit and see you soon.